for people who say, you know, when I listen to Melanie's story, she had the epiphany. She had the moment where she just knew what she was born to do. And she had that conviction that this is what, you know, God had called her to. Um, I don't have anything like that. I, I don't really know why I'm here. I don't have any particular mm. thing I'm passionate about. What, what insight would you offer to someone who's kind of stuck in that zone? For someone that's kind of stuck in that zone, what I would say is, I, first of all, I would say I totally understand. Mm. It wasn't like I just woke up one day and I knew what I wanted to do. My pursuit of getting my hair braided at the hair salon came out of dissatisfaction with my own hair. Um, I wasn't happy with my hair. I wasn't happy with my appearance. And that made me want to pursue getting happy with my hair and getting happy with my appearance. So when I saw a woman in the store one day who had her hair braided in a way that I felt like would look really good on me, instead of saying, mm, you know, instead of just not asking her where she got her hair braided, I had enough courage to go ask her where she got her hair braided. And she gave me that information. So for, for a person who doesn't know what they want to do, I would first say, take inventory of what's going on in your life. Um, it's not always a strength um, that helps you to identify what you're supposed to be doing in life. It could come out of pain. It could come out of some type of struggle. Take inventory of what you are attracted to. What shows do you like to watch on television? What books do you like to read? What thoughts do you have that when you think them, they make you feel a certain way and you like the way that feels? That's the most profound advice I've ever heard when it comes to finding your purpose because there's so much emphasis on finding your passion, which, which for a lot of people feels like this really complex math equation that they mm -hmm. have to solve. And what you're saying is investigate your curiosity. Yes. You don't have to know where it's gonna lead. You That's don't right. have to know what you're best at, but just zoom in on those yes. things that capture your attention. Yes. And, and just have enough faith to take that first step towards that, even if you don't know where that second step is gonna be. Yes. And, and you live that. That's exactly what you did when you saw the lady with the hairstyle, you exercised that courage to ask her about it. One of my favorite stories in the Bible, it's, it's, it's when Moses has his moment with the burning bush. You know, um, I, the first time, several times I heard that story, I heard it as there was a burning bush and the voice of God screamed out to mm -hmm. Moses telling him the purpose of his life. But the story says Moses saw that a bush was burning and it wasn't consumed and he went to investigate it. Mm -hmm. He went to see why this bush wow. was burning and yeah. not consumed. He, he followed that intrigue. Right. And when he, when he followed that intrigue, it was then that he heard the voice speak, giving him instructions for his life. And what you're saying perfectly captures that message that it's, it's inquire into those things that capture your curiosity, that yes. intrigue you. Yeah. Yes.